and welcome back to our wonderful city, where things are always going terrible. That's, that's sort of the theme at this point of the show. Uh, so this is our terrible remake of Pseudo Long Island, where traffic appears to be awful. Uh, yeah, I don't know where you people are all going in the same lane. Might I suggest hell? Interested? No, you already live in hell, you say? Oh. Well, too bad. Well, I was thinking, I was thinking, if we're going to end the series, we've got to go out of a bang, have we not? We've got a really complete pseudo Long Island. I, there's a lot of traffic on my freeway now. That's very nice. It's very satisfying. Like, look at that. We're all very impressed. There is a massive storm happening outside my house, which you're probably going to hear. Uh, but I can't do anything about that. Very sorry. It's, it's just God. He's very angry at the terrible things I've done to the people in this town. I don't blame him, but it's a bit uncalled for. Why would you take it out on you? So yeah, if we're getting out of a bang and make pseudo Long Island, Little Island, the best it can possibly be, there's one defining feature that we have completely missed out on. The Long Island Railroad. We need to recreate it in minute form as the Little Island Railroad, which everyone's very impressed by. Such a creative name. I know, I know, I know. So we can get uh, a wonderful train, and all we have to do is make it go everywhere. Will people ride it? No. Of course they won't. No one ever rides my public transport. It's a colossal waste of money. But it will look cool, and that's, that's, it. that's enough of a reason to do anything in this town. It's, it was never going to work anyway, was it? Like, have you, have you been paying attention? You know where you live? Nothing we do ever works. The only question is, how on earth are we going to do this? Because I see there's no logical path through all of this mess, is there? We've got... Oh, this bit is easy, because we've got this big road, which we can run alongside of. Then we get to here, and we've built parking lots there. So I don't know what we do, that, don't know what we do at this point. Uh can't fit it around here. Oh, we can fit one there. That can be end of the line, perhaps. People on this side of the island, they have a real bad life. I don't see it working out for you guys. Uh, we can have one in... No, we can't even have one in Dodson Ranch. We could, technically. But I don't know what part of the Long Island Road Road that is. Stupid portion? We need to, we need to establish... We'll go this side of the island first. And then we'll figure out what to do on the older, messed up bit of the island. We don't know what's happening over in the uh, most northern part. Or oh, this is north. What? No, no, no. Well, there's no. There's no directions, is it? Whichever way I point is north or south or whatever. Okay, welcome to the show. Uh, and I think we might even be able to get over here. We might have to knock down the botanical gardens. Do you really care about the botanical gardens? No, no one does. No one cares about botanical gardens. So, we can go round here, round here, uh, how are we going, the problem is how are we going to get from here to here, with this massive shopping district in the way. We could sort of put it there and sort of, oh, I'm pointing my bloody finger, we go round here, and then we sort of get, so do you need the extra parking Home Depot? Probably not. Uh, this and then we've got all the water. Maybe we'll go underground. The tunnel portion. Or maybe we'll ram it through where this parking lot for nothing is. We could put it on an angle. Do it sort of a round along here. I think that would be great. We'll get rid of the post office because... Does anyone use the post office in this town? I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, we could have it be elevated. That's snazzy. We're also going to have to get rid of you, Mr. Fire Station. Uh, yeah, you, you didn't burn down much anyway, did you, citizens? Uh, what was that? You, you burned down every day? You were the most flammable town in the history of America. I'm very sorry about that. Very sorry. But yeah, this is a fantastic plan by a fantastic leader in a fantastic town. And we've got this in the bag. Uh... The real Long Island will be rolling in its weird-shaped grave, because, oh my lord, 
traffic is not looking good. Why are you all doing stupid things? You want to go this way? To go this way? To go to where? Where are you going? Where are so many idiots going? Honestly, what do we have in our town that is so morbidly fascinating to you people? Oh, they're all moving in for the first time to this area. Well. That wasn't very nice of you, was it? I don't see why you all use the one lane. And why you all stuck in the furthest lane possible. And then chose to make that stupid choice. Because it is a pretty stupid choice. Let's have it be newly instated rules. If you get to this point and you can't decide where you're going, I've decided for you. No, 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 no. You... No, 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 that, that point as well. You have to really start picking where you're going before you get to the very end of the road. It's common courtesy to the other people who travel said road. You understand? I don't know where these people in the middle lane are still going now. Come on, come on, pick a place. No, I got rid of that. You are not, do not, Willow. I've made a powerful enemy today. Where are you people even going? What do you, you honestly find something better to do with your miserable life? There is more traffic on this one stretch of road. There's got to be like 50 people here. Honestly, where are you going? To the International House of Pancakes. Is it that important? They need urgent deliveries of pancakes? Hang on a second. Why are you choosing to take this route? then you could just take this route down the highway. No one's taking this route, are they? Can you not get from here to... Hold on. You can't. You can't get from here to there. No, yes you can. Yes you can. It's there. Take it. If you want to see miserable lives. Do it. Honestly. You had to be fooled for a second, you idiot. Has anyone else noticed how we're losing $5,000? I haven't even started building the railroad yet. What? Where is my money? Thank you, please. Oh, hang on a second. Are you spending it on oil product? Let's go to the oil district to find out. Yeah, they're spending it all on oil products. Where's the thing? Stop. No, no, no. Stop filling the thing with oil products, please. We've got enough oil products. We don't need any more. Please stop buying them. You understand? No more oil products. We're trying very hard to make things in our paper business, I remember. The paper business, they require plastic. Because, you know, that's what we thats what we all know about paper. It has lots and lots of plastic in it. Remember? Remember when you were trying to write something and your pen just slid across the slick plastic surface of your paper? I hate when that happens. You've got water, shut up. Make plastic. Are you making paper? Yes. We're all making paper, we're all making plastic, and you're doing nothing because the supply chain is absolutely destroyed. There's a lot of oil trucks around here. You really have been buying all the oil when I wasn't paying attention, haven't you? At least they take the highway instead of the other road. Maybe these people just want to avoid the oil trucks. If they are doing that, it's the first time they've ever planned one of their routes with for of how the traffic is going to be. Because normally they just sort of pile on the roads and go whichever direction takes their fancy. Because they're terrible, terrible people. Anyway, I'll stop rambling and I'll go into time lapse and we can start construction on the Little Island Railroad. <laughs>
Okay, we have a significant problem. We've run out of money to build the Little Island Railroad after one stop, which isn't even a remotely a railroad. Where's taking all the money? Might I suggest it's probably you idiots? Oh look, look who's been ordering more oil, even when I told you not to. Turn it off. You are full of oil. You do not need this oil. No. Stop. It's off. No more. Go home. Go back to Westdale. Are you bet? Oh my god, how much oil have these idiots ordered? You've drained the city treasury to buy oil for a paper business that isn't even working. Have we made any plastic with said oil? Anything at all? We've got one truck of plastic. It's making the delivery to the printing press. All of the city's funds went into one truck of plastic, which is being carried in a tank. These people, they don't know how to run a business. Honestly, I, this was a mistake. You shouldn't put city government in charge of making paper. That, I honestly, I don't know why we came up with this idea. It's a terrible plan. There's a tree in the road. If the city can't even build roads that don't have trees in the middle of them, why would you give them a paper company to maintain? That I don't understand. And you are delivering paper products to Garments Limited. What garments are you making out of paper? Please, enlighten me. Why would you choose to do this? Are you going to have to drive all the way to Down Dream Park? Because I pity you. No one likes Down Dream Park. That's where people get mugged and stabbed and killed. Because, you know, it's Down Dream Park. Who, who wants to go there? And you're going back to your facility in Springwood. Where are you going on this fine morning? To work at the plastic factory. Well, at least someone's working there. That's probably why I haven't got any plastic. Like in Tropico, where no one would go to the office and we ended up being bankrupt all the time. That was fun. Of course, until I destroyed the fort to build a shopping mall and the entire thing crumbled to shreds. You're also going to work at the plastic plant. Everyone's driving to work at the plastic factory. They've finally been called in. They've heard they're making some plastic ones in their miserable, miserable lives. Oh, we're getting some more money again. It's not going to be enough to build the railway. We need a lot of money. We're just going to speed up time whilst we traverse the street at like two miles an hour, I might add. We don't get very far, do we? I'm used to following the cars around. They go very quickly. We're stuck behind Grandma Dearest driving the oil truck. Here we go, through the town centre. Fantastic. Past a school. It's a really pretty town. I like this. I like our town centre. At least for this new bit. Where are you going now? Oh, of course. To the factory. That makes a lot of sense. Please, deliver it. We've all, wait We've all been waiting for this moment. Since the day we... We're born. Come on. Have we made any more plastic in the time being? We should probably up the rate. 100%. We've got to up this pretty high if we ever want to make our money back. Let's start with 140%. Almost top. Churn out the printed products. Go on. Go on. Make some paper. Do it. Any time today. Any paper at all. Is anyone at work? There's someone on the way to work. Are you walking there? Well, he's walking to work, so he's never going to get there. Oh, you're finally someone useful on the way to work. You're a cleaner. Oh! <gasps> We're making things. We've made one ton of printed products. Finally, things are happening. Where are you going? Home. Well, go to work. Get a job. You work at... Oh, do I forget Darren New Park exists sometimes. What a loser, what a loser place. You've been driving home since, what, last year? Why would you even, why would you even get a job at Darren Dream Park at this point? Like, they don't pay you very well. It's, a bit of a, it's like, when there's so many jobs available in that building, why would you ever get a job in Darren Dream Park? And you could always get an education at Irish City College. There's always places there. Yeah, loads of them, because no one ever goes. Well, let's go back into time-lapse, I suppose, where I will build another portion of the Little Island Railroad.
All right, we're out of money again. And as you can see, we've desecrated the crater. This natural landmark of our city has been forever ruined. Uh, yeah, Lily Mikhail Crater, I don't think the land value is going to be very high around here. Like, the first there's a crater, then there's now this train line that goes through your houses. Yeah, every, every other neighbourhood it's kind of avoided, you know, it's sort of gone around the outside, but Lily Mikhail Crater, things aren't looking very good for the, the people around here. Let's look at the land value score. How do you rank if you live in Lily Mikhail Crater? Oh, look, yeah, white, as in valueless. It's even less valuable than this area, and this area has been unvaluable for like the entire length of the game. It's less valuable than the area that got hit by that massive earthquake. And I can't see people living there anytime soon. The only place that's less valuable is, of course, I Street City College. Because there's so much empty space there. You know, empty desks. No one ever goes there. They avoid it like the plague. Education, who needs that? So anyway, we're broke. $13,000, though. Is this because we're actually making some... No, of course, they're out of plastic again. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You've got oil in you. Are you delivering oil from the tank? Well, now I've turned it off. No. Hmm. I'm wary to turn it off to deliver another barrel of oil, because I know as soon as I turn it on, all they do is order some oil. Go on. Go. What if I switch it to em... No, not fill. Empty. 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 Where are you going? Exporting? No, 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 no. No, is, it, is it at least one of you going to go to the... Okay, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. They're just selling the oil. They're not going to take it to the um, plastic factory. Which is sad. That's the only job you had. But fine, sell the oil. I'm never going to turn down money, am I? Are you an oil delivery truck? Please, no more oil delivery trucks at all. If I click on you... Are you going to say that you've ordered some oil and it's going to be on the way very, very soon? No. Fine. Have you ordered some oil? You're the paper factory. Have you? No. Uh, things are going to go very badly very, very quickly. But at least we've got another shipment of plastic. We'll keep making these plastic products, which is great. No, printed. we're making printed products. We're bankrupting ourselves making plastic products. You're delivering more plastic. Well, the plastic factory is clearly doing something. We've got loads of plastic now. Where are you? Returning to facility. Are you one of the printed goods trucks? I love printed goods. They're printing the cash for my city's continued operation, so to speak. Uh, you've made anything at all? No? Yes, maybe? Perhaps? There's only one worker who appears to be here. Oh, look, we've, yeah, we've a truck. We're delivering them to the... We're delivering to the where? The Meninja Hotel. Is that downtown, do you think? Is that that hotel? We've got lots of hotels in this town. Let's follow it around. Let's follow the truck around. Obviously, wait for the cash to come into the town. Because, yeah, cash we don't have. We do not have the cash monies that we need. We get to experience the city from a new perspective as we drive around the city streets. Wow. Stylish. Look over there. Look at that skyline. Beautiful. We're just spinning around now. Okay, right. We now are getting on the road. Yeah, I like the uh, big radio thing. That kind of complements it. Will be the radio city. The sunken oil barge doesn't complement it, but that's always been there. Yeah, oil just leaks into the ocean around here. We, we could clean it, but we don't bother because we're lazy. Welcome to my town. Uh, yeah, we're going to pass through the major big highway thing that's kind of flooded. And now has loads of ambulances going over it. At least it's being used. And we've sort of disconnected from the truck again. This happens a lot. Come on, I just want to see the truck deliver the thing. Is it too much to ask? Right, we're, going, we're getting off at this weird exit that we ended up building. Don't know how this ended up getting... Oh, I do know how this get developed. Because it was a bit of a stupid idea. Here we are, we're coming off into downtown near the train station where no trains go because it's not completed. Spinning around, entering downtown. Look at our big tall building here. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's being very loud. Yeah, past, there's just a bird near the big apartment building, the little apartment buildings. Look at this, it's so stylish. Downtown, we've really, we've done something great in this town. I like this place. And this is the hotel, is it not? Is it not? We need to have passed it. You're not going to the Meninja Hotel? Is it somewhere else? 
of our, are, you, are you taking a really stupid route to get there? Because I wouldn't rule that out either. I think I think we are. I think we're taking a very stupid route to get there. Are you going? Yeah, we're going to turn right here, aren't we? Why would we do that? Why would we act in such an idiotic manner? Yeah, here we go. Wow, we're pulling up on this hotel. Oh, I've never seen this building before. Took a real logical route. Oh, it's because you have to get to the other side of the barrier. Okay, kind of that kind of makes sense. Here we are, the Meninja Hotel. Fantastic. And now I've got some more cash. So for the final time this episode, let's go into time lapse. It's going to be fun. Alright, we have finally built it. It took a very long time. A lot of time lapses. Uh, a very long time in real recording. I'm going to have to cut a lot of things if this is ever going to be 20 minutes. Uh, I've just noticed a little bit of residential zoning that didn't get zoned. But other than that, my new distraction, it's time to complete our project with the first and only line of the Little Island Railroad, starting in Fearset next to the stables, moving along the only stylish portion of the track to the Treasure Island station, the only stylish part of the town. Then we go past the abandoned houses that litter our empty lake, past our failing shopping mall to our dismal downtown. Then we get to stop in the lowest valued part of the entire city where every single person appears to have died while we sweep over into, you know, Loserville, that's what this place is called, and go through the ridiculously expensive tunnel to our final stop, all the way over here in the middle of nowhere where there's nothing yet, but there will be soon. And then we get to go all the way back again, because you can't just leave them out in the middle of nowhere. That's frowned upon in the transportation business. If anyone rides this train, I will actually eat my hat, but won't it be cool to watch go around the track? And at the end of the day, isn't that what we're all here for? 